The trial of the Al Jazeera journalist was convened inside the Cairo Police Academy. Mohammed Fahmi, Bahar Mohammed, and Peter Gresta have denied all the government's charges. They're accused of belonging to a terrorist organization and threatening Egypt's national security. The three pled not guilty. We demanded their release and the chance to interrogate prosecution witnesses. The three are among 20 defendants, eight of whom were present, the rest being tried in absentia. Al Jazeera management expressed satisfaction that the trial was underway. So we're actually very pleased that we're in court. We believe we will get a fair trial and we believe we can defend ourselves and we believe we're very, we have a very defensible position. Family members of the journalists said the charges had no merit. From my point of view, this trial is politicized. My son and his co-workers are good patriots and they work professionally. He's been prepared um, um, for today, but he's also um, prepared for an outcome that perhaps, you know, that we don't want. Two of the journalists shouted from the defendant's cage that they have been subject to, quote, psychologically unbearable conditions since their arrest December 29th. They said they got only one hour of exercise a day and had no access to reading material. The case has raised protests from journalists around the world who warn that Egypt has become one of the world's most oppressive countries for independent reporting. I think by not registering as forcefully as possible that this is absolutely not acceptable, uh, people think it's a perfectly, a perfectly fine way to proceed. And not only Egypt, but other governments are following suit. The judge said prosecution witnesses will be heard and the evidence considered at the next hearing scheduled for early next month. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.